On 1j, we have x to the power of 4 minus 16. Now, it kind of looks like a difference of squares, doesn't it? And we know our difference of squares formula. And if you don't, then have a look at one of the video lessons. Our difference of squares formula is a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b, right? So this x to the power of 4 minus 16, how can we rearrange this? Well, if you remember x to the power of 4, you see, is 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. So that's actually 2 x's times another 2 x's. So it's actually, if you think of it this way, it's x squared all squared, right? So x to the power of 4 is x squared all squared, right? And so we have that, and then we have uh, minus, now 16, what number squared gives 16? What number squared gives 16? 4, right? So we have x squared minus 4 squared. So that would be that plus 4 and then x squared minus 4, right? So we're, if we're using a difference of squares on this, we actually get x squared plus 4 times x squared, uh, sorry, I meant to say minus, minus 4. Right? And that's correct. We haven't made a mistake. This is a good thing. But we're not completely done because if you look at this guy, x squared minus 4, he can be factored even further, can't he? This one can't because that's a plus. This is not a difference of squares. A difference of squares has a subtract sign between the two squared numbers. This is another difference of squares here. Right? What number squared gives 4? 2, right? So this is actually x squared minus 2 squared which becomes x plus 2 times x minus 2, doesn't it? And over here you still have your x squared plus 4, right? So this is the finished answer. We can't go any further. We can't factor x squared plus 4 anymore. We can't factor x plus 2 anymore. And we can't factor x minus 2 anymore. So we're done. But the thing you need to remember is that when you're asked to factorize something, you have to keep going until you're done. So if, for example, if you were asked to factorize um, you know, 30. You can't just say, well, it's 3 times 10. That's not good enough. You're not done. Factorize, if you're asked to factorize something, you've got to factorize it fully. 10 is 2 times 5, you see. So 30 is, in fact, 3, 3 times 2 times 5. Because that's 3 factors. And similarly, x to the 4 minus 16 is x squared plus 4 times x minus 2 times x plus 2, or, or vice versa. Now we'll also check this, of course. I'll multiply these two binomials first, right? x times x, x squared, x times negative 2 minus 2x, two, 2 times x plus 2x, two, 2 times negative 2 minus 4, and that adds to be x squared. These make 0 minus 4, right? But I still have to multiply the x squared plus 4 times this x squared minus 4. Right? And that times that is x to the power of 4. x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4, isn't it? x squared times negative 4 is minus 4x squared. 4 times x squared is plus 4x squared. And 4 times negative 4 is minus 16. And then you can add these guys, right? So negative 4x squared plus 4x squared, what does that make? Does that make 0? Right? So we're left with the x to the power of 4 minus 16.